Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's the day, the tank is clean, the tank is clean, the tank is clean! Today's video, we are going to be doing something super exciting. We are going to be doing a very large and in charge Jeffree Star Cosmetics haul. He recently released his Blood Money collection, and you bet your bottom dollar that I went on and I made a really hefty order. Now, I did get some stuff from the Blood Money collection, and then I also got a few other things, so this is going to be a very substantial haul. We are going to break this up into two parts. This one is going to be just the haul showing you guys everything that I got and then the second part is going to be me trying the Blood Money palette on my eyeballs which is why I don't have anything on my eyes. I did put on just like a little bit of mascara and eyeliner so I didn't look like a total troll throughout this whole video, you know what I mean? So we are going to break this up into two parts otherwise this video would be like three hours long and um... Nobody wants that. This huge box, I don't even know, like, this is huge. As you can see, it is this really beautiful green color, and everything is inside, and I'm so excited to open everything up. We're just going to dive right into it and open it up. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. First of all, first of all, the box and the tissue paper for this launch and collection is so amazing. So when you open the box, we have a bunch of $100 bills and they are all with Jeffree Star's face on them. So freaking cool. And then here's what everything looks like all inside. I'm definitely going to be keeping this tissue paper and I'm probably going to create like another little, um, poster collage type thing. Right, so the very first thing on top is we have the picture that came with this launch. This is the Blood Money palette right here and here's the picture. We have Jeffree Star in his tub of gold and money which I freaking love, love, love. I always keep every single picture with every launch and then of course we just have my receipt which um, I spent $253 two hundred and fifty three dollars so the very first thing that I got and this is something that I have wanted since it was released and I didn't have the money at the time and when I made this order I was like today is the day where I'm going to be getting this item and it is a clothing item I have quite a few Jeffree Star cosmetics hoodies they are probably some of my favorite um, clothing items that he has on there just because they're so comfortable they're so nice they're so good quality so the first thing that I got is a hoodie and it is one of his tie-dye ones. I didn't get the blood money one just because I wasn't too crazy about the color but the one that I really wanted was the pumpkin pie hoodie. Oh my gosh. Okay so here is what this hoodie looks like right here. It is the black and orange tie-dye hoodie. We have the little Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo right there which is really nice. Oh my gosh, this is so incredibly warm. I love this so much. I just, I really like the orange and black. It's very spooky season and I will literally be wearing this all the time. So you guys will be seeing this probably quite a bit in future videos, but this is the first thing that I got. And this was, um, I believe $45 and I did get the size small. So there is the first item that we got. I'm so excited to finally have this. I have been waiting I've been waiting forever to get my hands on this hoodie and I finally did and it's here and I'm holding it and I'm just so freaking excited. The next things that I got are some of the Velvet Trap lipsticks. Now I did talk about this in one of my recent videos but I did miss the launch day for those specific lipsticks. So when I went and made my huge ginormous order I went on and I ordered three different colors of the Velvet Trap lipsticks. I'm pretty sure these are replacing the lip ammunition formula. I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure they're replacing that. This is what the packaging of the Velvet Trap lipsticks look like. These are so cool. I absolutely love the packaging. They just open up like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so... <gasps> oh my god. These are so freaking cool feeling. They feel so soft and they look like, you know, the typical little bullet lipsticks. These are so amazing. Oh my gosh, they feel so cool. Here's an up close view of what the Velvet Trap lipsticks look like. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel it. They literally feel so, so smooth and soft. I absolutely love it. The first color that we got is, of course, Celebrity Skin. So let's open this bad lad up. <gasps> Stop. 
The design on this is so freaking cool. As you can see, it is just a little lipstick right here, and it's very matte and velvet looking, and then it has the shiny Jeffree Star Cosmetics logos all around them. I can't get over this, you guys. This is some of the coolest packaging I have ever freaking seen. I could literally look at this for hours. I have no idea what the formula is like. I will be trying these in the part two portion with the try-ons. And what I do really like about these is the bottoms are like magnetic. So when you... They literally just snap shut, so you don't have to worry about like clicking them shut. The, the magnet just holds them all together. So that is the first color that I got. You guys know Celebrity Skin is probably one of my favorite colors that Jeffree Star has ever released. So when I saw that they had a Velvet Trap lipstick in Celebrity Skin, I had to get it. So I got that one. The next shade that I got is this one. This one is Naked Body. And it's kind of a very similar color, just like more of a brownie nude color. I really, really like this one as well. Looks very similar to Celebrity Skin. Oh my gosh, they smell... Oh, they smell so good. It almost smells like vanilla, like a vanilla cake or something. And then the very last color that I got is this one and this one is diet mannequin so i all one of my favorite colors next to celebrity skin is definitely mannequin that is also jeffree stars one of his favorite lip shades that he's ever done so when i saw this one i knew i had to get it so i did get all three nude colors as you can see right her so i'm really excited to try this one i don't know which one i'm going to try today it all kind of depends on how the makeup look turns out all right and then everything else for this haul is everything from the Blood Money collection. I did only get a couple of things and the first thing that I really really wanted to get was the Stoned Lip Balm and I love 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 lip balms. I love chapstick because my lips are very crusty and dusty and just freaking gross. So when I saw that he was coming out with a Stoned Lip Balm I was really excited so I definitely wanted to get my hands on this guy right here. I absolutely love the color of this. It has a very like kind of shiny metallic look to it and when you open it up oh my gosh this is so cool and it smells really good uh-huh oh my gosh this feels so nice on the lips and my lips could definitely use this especially since we are going into the winter season my lips, I'm going to probably go through this whole thing. So this is something that I'm definitely going to keep in my purse next to my bed because since my lips do get chapped pretty often, this is definitely going to come in handy. The next thing that I got before we dive into the palette is I did end up getting one of the glosses and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to get any of the glosses because none of the colors really spoke to me. But on launch day when I like saw them, you know, on the website, I was like, ooh, I really like that one. So the one that kind of caught my attention was this one and it is paid in full now i have no idea what kind of lip gloss this is i'm positive it's going to be kind of like a nudie type color looks like it's a little bit glittery as well so here is what the packaging of this one looks like first of all First of all, I love the colors of this. I really like green. I don't even know what it is. Something about green and yellow just always really kind of speaks to me. So when I saw like the whole green theme of this collection, I was like, absolutely freaking lootly darling, we are getting my hands on this. And this is a really pretty kind of nude with it looks like some iridescent glitters in there it almost looks like there's a bit of a color shift as well i don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that on camera but it is a really pretty kind of pinky nude with some glitters in there so for good measure let's just put a little bit of this on smells really good it smells like vanilla cake Ooh. okay that's actually really pretty this actually is going to go really well with the whole collection I feel like it almost has like a little bit of a um, green iridescent shift to it like when you look at it in certain lights it's like okay I'm picking up what you're throwing down girl so it looks like these came in two different finishes glitter fantasy and extreme shine and it looks like this one might be one of the glitter fantasy ones which I really like I do like the juicy ones those are probably my favorites but I'm not mad that this has a little bit of glitter in it more glitter the better 
Okay, and for the main event, for the main unboxing of this video, I bring you the Blood Money Palette. Oh my gosh! And I'm going to be really careful because I definitely want to keep this tissue paper. And I did actually get two of them. I have two Blood Money Palettes right here. One of them I did get for my sister. Uh, she was working during launch day and she wasn't able to get one and I happened to be at home. So I was like, hey, I'll get you one and I'll give it to you the next time that I see you. So I do appreciate it because I am seeing some bubble wrap up in here, which is good because sometimes the postal service can get a little bit crazy. So I do appreciate the fact that they do wrap this in bubble wrap and when you remove the bubble wrap, we have the Blood Money Palette Rot Her. Oh my gosh. You guys, I freaking, I love green. I freaking love green, y'all. It looks like this is the outer packaging of the palette. And then when you open it up, it just opens up like, oh my god, I love it so much already. Da, 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 da. Do a little ASMR action. Alright, so here's an up close view of what the Blood Money palette looks like. As you can see, we have this really, really beautiful green color with the kind of like snake alligator skin and it is surrounded by all of the little gold emblems and then here's what the back of the palette looks like. All right, and then we are going to open this guy up so you basically just move this oh bitch look there she is ladies and gentlemen 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 woo, woo, woo. so here's what the inside of the blood money palette looks like with the little plastic covering removed which i do appreciate that they put that in there it's just a little form of extra protection these colors are absolutely gorgeous. The three that immediately stick out to me is this one right here, which is Equity. And then we have uh, Chameleon, what is that? Chameleon Fetish. And then this one over here, Poison Ivy. Oh, bitch. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so excited to use this. Jeffree Star definitely knows how to do eyeshadows. He knows how to do formula. He knows how to do glitters and metallics and mattes and shimmers. He's just, he's a genius at what he does. I don't care what your opinion is on him. He knows how to do palettes. He knows how to do formula. And I cannot wait to try this. Again, as, as always, I am a little overwhelmed because I don't know what kind of look that I want to do. I mean, obviously, I want to go full green with it and I want to go full, you know, nutty buddy with it. But before I end this haul and jump into part two of this, I am going to go in and swatch a few of the shades. That way we can kind of see how they're going to perform on the finger and how they're going to swatch. And finger swatches and how they perform on the eyes are two totally different things. Like, you really don't know how they're going to turn out. Um, but it's just fun to swatch eyeshadow palettes when you get them and they're super like pretty like this. It's just so much fun to swatch. So we are going to do a couple swatches. The first one that I really, really want to swatch is this one right here, which is the first one that caught my eye, which is Chameleon Fetish. So I'm just going to take a clean finger, give a couple little swipes. Oh, and she just keeps going. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. I literally want this like all over my eyelid, all the way up to my brow bone and beyond. I will probably be using this shade for sure in the makeup look. The next one I really want to swatch is the one right next to it, which is Poison Ivy. This really pretty shimmery green shade right here. So I'm just going to take my index finger, give a couple little swipes. You guys, do you see how amazing this shade is? Oh my gosh, it literally swatched like butter. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus Christ, for bringing Jeffrey Lynn Star into this world and creating some of the most beautiful eyeshadows and the most beautiful palettes that I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. So the next green one that I really want to swatch is the one right below po Poison Ivy, and this one is Emerald Estate, which is this really pretty one down here. Again, I'm going to take another clean finger, 
Give a couple little swirls and we're gonna put that right underneath Poison Ivy. Oh, I'm so excited for this. What the fuck? This is probably one of his best formulated palettes and I know I'm kind of jumping the gun by saying that, but just these initial swatches, I'm, I'm shook. I'm shooketh, capital S, underlined, bold, italicized, I'm shooketh. Okay, the other kind of shimmery glitter one that I want to swatch is the one right next to Emerald Estate, and that is CEO, which is right here, this really pretty kind of yellow gold, kind of almost looks like a true gold bar color. So I'm going to take my little pinky here, give a couple little swishes and swooshes, and we're going to put that right underneath Emerald Estate. Oh, this is an eye look. This is a look. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, the answer is yes. I am always this over dramatic when it comes to Jeffree Star's eyeshadows and I'm not sponsored by him. I'm not on his PR list. Every single Jeffree Star product that I own, I bought myself with my own money. He has never sent me PR. Nothing like that. I am literally just that big of a fan of his eyeshadows and his formula. All right, and I do really want to swatch Equity because that is one of the other shades that really kind of caught my eye. And I'm going to swatch on this hand this time because these fingers are clean. These ones are a little bit stained. So I'm going to take a clean finger. Again, swish, swash, swish. Ooh, okay. So this is actually coming off a lot more green, kind of like a khaki green. It looks more brown in the palette, but definitely like a khaki green color. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Not as, um, hmm, okay. So not as pigmented as I thought it would be. It does look a little bit powdery. It does look like it may need a little bit of finessing on the eyelids, but it could perform really well on the eyelids and it just swatches kind of odd. But I do like the color. It is a really pretty kind of like khaki green color. One of my favorite green eyeshadows that Jeffree Star has ever come out with is in the Androgyny palette and that is the military shade. I love that palette more than words could ever say and I that's my favorite shadow in that palette so this one doesn't quite compete with military but that's okay win some lose some next I just I really want to swatch black card limit now this is probably a shade that I won't really use all that much um, just because there really isn't a time for black shimmery eyeshadows in every makeup look but I am really curious to see how it's going to perform so I'm gonna take another clean finger Okay, so this actually has a little bit of iridescent glitters in there. It looks like we have some blues and some greens, so I'm going to swatch that right underneath Equity. Okay, so, you know, not the greatest shimmery black I've ever seen, but then again, it's very hard to come up with, like, a shimmery black shade and have it, like, you know blow my mind, but it is buildable, it is blendable, which I do appreciate. The next shade that I'm going to swatch is this one up in the corner. This looks like it would be a really pretty highlighter shade. This one is called Divine Intervention, and I just want to see how this is going to swatch because I might be using this as like a brow highlight, inner corner highlight, face highlight. Oh shit! Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's actually picking up kind of like a very, very light, soft, mint green color. So I'm gonna put that right underneath Black Card Limit. Okay, so you guys can definitely see it has a really pretty green shift to it. It almost looked like a white pink in the palette, but when you swatch it, you can definitely see that green in there. Ooh, I really like that. This would actually make a very interesting highlight, like if you wanna make yourself look like a literal dollar bill. This would be a really good shade to do that with. And then the very last one that I'm going to swatch before we end this haul and jump into the makeup look is this one right here, and this is Make It Rain. And honey, please make it rain because I've I spent a lot of money on this stuff, okay? Girl's a little broke. It's a little broke. Please make it rain. It's going to be so pretty. Fingers crossed. It swatches good. Oh. <laughs> 
I really, really like this. That is a really pretty green shade. It is a little bit more um, true green, lime green compared to equity up here, but I do like that. I think these two together right here will marry really well together. So I overall, so far, before trying it on my eyes, I am very happy with this palette. Okay, everybody, so that is everything that I have for the first initial haul of the Blood Money and some other stuff collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I really hope hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite product out of this whole entire haul was. Let me know if you are super excited to see the makeup look. I am literally going to be filming that right now as soon as I get done filming this video and it will be uploaded only a couple days apart. So the haul, what you are watching right now is part one and part two will be the full entire makeup look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and give it a huge thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot and I would greatly appreciate appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. Join the family. We are on the road to 300k. Fingers crossed that we can reach it in 2021. So make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But as for the rest of you, I love you guys so, so much. But until then, I will see you very soon in my next video, which will be the blood money makeup look. Woo! I love you guys. Bye! Mwah!